So today I want to talk about 2018 Honda Accord 1.5T, which is turbo and it's a sport edition. That's the car probably all the, your friends, might, maybe not all your friends, but a lot of friends and a lot of neighbors talking about like, you should get the Honda, you should get Civic or you should get Accord and it's super nice car, you should buy it, it's durable, it's not going to give you a problem. But I want to tell you, is it really good car for the money you can buy? Or it's just the people talking about it, but they have no idea what they're talking about it. So I want to tell you about it, how the way it looks like, how it costs you or not, what's the maintenance you might going to face on this car, and the price you're going to pay for the car, which you need, or you might not need it, but you still want to buy it. So it might going to help you a little bit. So number one, that's the size of the car. It is a huge kind of car because it is awkward. So you have a lot of space, a lot of room inside the car for the passengers, for yourself as a driver. You do have a huge trunk area and you can put a lot of stuff inside the stroller. You can put the grocery. What I don't like about this car, it doesn't have any button on the trunk. So you cannot release it. You have to do it from the inside or you can do it with your key fob. But you can do it from outside by pushing the button. I don't know why, but that's the way they made it. So the way this car looks like, it is a sport edition. It has a nice huge rims. I mean, for this, this body, it's kind of huge and they are beautiful. There is a designer, whoever made it, they did two tone rims and they look so good, especially with the gray color of the car. In my opinion, the color of the car making the huge difference how it's going to represent itself for the people or for you so the gray color of this one it's super nice it's not gonna get dirty right away plus it's not getting older over the years some colors they are making the car older even if it's not that old at all so the gray one is gonna keep this car looks fresh for over i think at least like 10 years and the uh, honda then you have that famous problem with paint peeling off as a hyundai or the Chevy, they do have some, any small other problems with the paint job, but not the one is going to peel off or it's going to burn under the sun in California, which is kind of cool. So this car 1.5 turbo, it has small 1.5 engine. Uh, so it's a four cylinder turbo and it's kind of nice. It is enough power for this car. It has CVT transmission, not regular automatic transmission. And am I going to say the CVT created a lot of problems? It might gonna create a lot of problems, but again, if you check the prices for the used transmission or the used engine on this car, it's in my opinion super cheap. So the transmission for this car you can buy between five and six hundred dollars. The engine itself, complete engine, used with some mileage in it, but it's working with warranty engine. You can buy it between four hundred and eight hundred dollars, which is super cheap. So it means this car is kind of durable not given a lot of problems and the people just keep driving it even this car is cvt but usually again cvt they're not so good they're not so durable and they do have a lot of problems like the nissan or like some of the toyotas not all of them but some of them again i don't like honda personally i don't like the any of the hondas i don't know why but i'm not feeling it as a my car as the car i want to drive it even just a little bit so i'm not buying those cars a lot Sometimes randomly, maybe for the good price, am I gonna buy it? But again, just to sell it, not to enjoy it, not to drive it because I'm not enjoying this car. I don't like to drive it. I don't like the way it looks like. But just a general opinion, I'm gonna tell about it, like I say already. And it's a nice car. It looks cool. It looks honestly from the outside, it looks so much spacious than the inside. Even still, there is a lot of space inside. But again, for the size of the car, I would say the engine. It's so small. It's sitting under the hood like it's supposed to be V8. So do the hood smaller, do the space inside the car a little bit bigger, a little bit more roomy, and inside the trunk, just a little bit less space because it has so much space. I don't know what you're going to do with that. So better do the back seat a little bit bigger so the kids can sit inside. You can put some strollers. I mean, you can put some extra uh, child seats on the back and instead of two kids, you can put three kids. Maybe you can jump yourself in why they do it i have no idea maybe they preparing this car for something bigger and it's going to be like a v8 i know that some of them they do have a v6 engine and for sure it's going to be enough space for it but again even though you're going to put v6 on the honda v6 it's not that huge it's still going to not take the whole space under the hood so you can make the hood a little bit shorter why you need so so much room under the hood i don't know 
again, it's a sport version. It has a different headlight, the light on this car, the front end, it looks so nice. Same as on the rims. So on the side of the car, all the pieces, all the details, especially tinted windows, they're all together, given that kind of nice looking car opinion from the side, you're gonna love it yourself when you're driving it. And again, like I'm not a huge fan of the Honda and what are we gonna do on this car? I'm not gonna like it. Even if you're gonna do the bigger rims or nicer, you're gonna do tint or you're gonna untint it. It's gonna be white seats or something else. I do not like it. But again, this is car, it's one of the first car which is people wanted. So it's desirable on the whole United States, in Los Angeles, in California, doesn't matter where, because the Honda, like the people say, it is a durable, it's a problemless car, and you should buy the Honda or Toyota. So it's not Toyota, it is a Honda. So that's the kind of space you're gonna get outside the car, and that's the kind of space you're gonna get inside the car. So if I'm gonna sit myself as a driver and try to feel comfortable, so I'm gonna move the seat a little bit back, right down, and like what I'm usually doing it, and it's gonna be enough space for me so I can drive it. So if somebody else is gonna jump on it and drive it, so I'm gonna sit on the back, as a passenger, is it gonna be enough space for me? Yes, it's still enough space for me, for my legs. There is a lot of room on the left, on the right, so I can put some stuff. It's kind of roomy, so it's a huge car, and it's a roomy car at the same time. So the materials they're using for this car, again, it's a Honda, it's not Mercedes, it's a Honda, most popular car, the cheapest one, one of the cheapest one in the line of Honda. There is not so many expensive Hondas on the market, but again, so all the metal pieces, all the doors, all the plastic, they kind of cheap. You can feel it yourself, you can touch it. There is nothing so expensive. The hood, the, the fenders, the bumpers, and most of those pieces, most of the panels on this car, it's easy to remove. You can remove the door, the, change the handle yourself, or the, do the window regulator if it's falling apart, or something else. So it's not that complicated car. It's kind of simple. That's why I think people like it, people love it, because again, they buy it and they can do the maintenance themselves, they can do the brake pass themselves, they again, they, they cheap on this car. There is nothing so much expensive uh, you can buy or you're gonna need it during your uh, daily driving. From my experience, the most common problem on this engine, what I was getting, so that's the spark plugs, because people not touching the spark plugs until 100,000 miles or until the car starts misfiring. So nobody doing maintenance like it's supposed to be scheduled by factory. So for example, every 30, 30, 35,000 miles, you're supposed to change your spark plugs. You're gonna get better MPG. So the car gonna run nice. It's gonna start easily. No, everybody driving till the end, until the light gonna come on and it's gonna start misfiring. So that's the time when you're gonna replace the spark plugs. But at the time you're trying to replace the spark plugs, it'll illuminate the problem. You're not gonna do that, so because your coil went out, so you have to buy the coil. There is a lot of different coils on the same same year car. You have to choose the, exactly the one for your car. And I and I got that problem before I solve it, but they might gonna be a little bit pricey about 150 coil from the dealer. So it's better buy the used one in my opinion, or find the Chinese one, which is for sure gonna work exactly the same way, but maybe a little bit shorter term. So the front end of this car, it looks so nice, those chrome pieces on the top of it, because there is not only one, there is three pieces, so you can buy it separate. They look so good. The headlights for the sports version, they, they do have a LED part of it. The fog lights, it is LED lights also. So the black grille on the front bumper with that chrome pieces on the top, it looks just beautiful for this car, the way it's made. Again, the size of the hood, I don't like it that much because it's a huge hood for the whole car the windows, the size of it, and the way they design it. So it's kind of cool when you're driving, you do have a, that 360 kind of view only on the back. It's a little bit shorter, but again, on the side, left, right, on your front, it's so good. I mean, there is a great visibility. So as you can see here, you might not gonna see it, but the grill is so huge. The holes here, it's kind of huge. So any rock which gonna go through them, to hit the radiators, the first one they're gonna hit, that's your intercooler. So you might gonna lose the boost right away. So if you would be somewhere in, in Europe countries or any other countries, you might gonna do some kind of protection. And I think one, some of the dealers right now, they are offering that to put the extra protection behind the grill just to cover the radiators. Because besides that radiator, there is a lot of different oil radiator, coolant one, the, the condenser for the UAC, but number one, which is gonna hit by rock, in case of something, that's gonna be your intercooler. So if the intercooler is gonna get hurt 
you're going to get uh, boost pressure, you're going to get check engine light, and the car might going to get lack of power. But again, it's a super rare fact, and maybe somebody facing it, but I don't think you might going to face that anytime soon. So like I said, the trunk compartment and the trunk area, it's kind of huge. There is a lot of space. You can put a lot of stuff inside, but I just always want to see what you're going to get as a tools, as a spare tire. There is a spare tire, there's a donut. And one cool thing, I found it here, that's, that's the one. And uh, if this thing has a part number, it means it is useful for the car and you are going to need it. So like I checked before, even McLaren, they do have, besides the Ford, they do have it. You know why? Because it's a cupless uh, feeling. So besides, you're going to put it on and if you, if you get stuck, it looks like Honda, it's a common problem. If you're going to get stuck somewhere on the road with no gas and you have to bring the canister to put the gas on. So you have that thing. But number one, if that thing is going to get stuck for some reason, you might going to send your check engine light on or the light for the gas cup which is not closed so that's the piece you're gonna use it and it's sitting right there in your trunk area that's cool so at the end of the video what i was gonna say number one personally me i don't like any of the hondas it doesn't matter it's brand new and it's a 10 years old i cannot see that car as a piece of me as i can appreciate it or take it myself i do appreciate this car as they produce in the light it's a mass production car and the people love it they enjoy it you might gonna enjoy it also i'm not enjoying it at all whatever functions you're gonna put whatever features you're gonna put in the car i still not gonna enjoy it i don't like it so the materials again materials of the car inside the car interior part of it uh they're not so good they probably good for three five years and after they start falling apart even the seats right now it's been on a deep detail uh, and the, the people over there, they try to clean it as much as they can, but a lot of spots on the seats, they're not coming out, so they're gonna stay forever. And again, it could be from the coffee spill, it could be from the kids, maybe something else, it's just dirt, but again, why you doing kind of those materials on the car, inside the car, on the seats, the doors, uh, if it's not gonna be cleanable in a couple years. So you might gonna buy the covers and put it on, but again, it's not the way it's supposed to be, in my opinion and I don't like it. So as we're driving this beautiful 2018 Honda Accord, what I can tell about it, I mean, number one, what I don't like about this car, that's the space for the driver. Again, for me, I'm not feeling comfortable because again, my legs are pushing the middle uh, middle compartment so the middle console and it's designed somehow one of the sharp angle of some panel just pushing my uh, knees so I don't like it I'm not feeling comfortable the seat itself it's kind of already gone in my opinion even this car 2018 has 90,000 miles only but it pushed in so much like maybe the huge driver used to drive this car there is again a lot of signs of the used car like the steering wheel it's made of leather but the paint on the top of it it's already peeling out and the paint on the top of it's already peeling off and you have to do something like maybe a poster shop can repaint it or something else so the some other panels they they kind of warning out little by little and i think in a couple more years this car is going to be not horrible inside but it's gonna have a lot of hot spots you have to pay attention and fix it so because this car it's a sport edition means it has a bigger rims and the bigger rims gonna cause you many uh, other problems besides the suspension so again as i'm driving this car i can tell the shocks already gone and you have to replace it because again in la it's not so nice straight flat roads there is a lot of uh dins and dents so the car gonna feel it your suspension already feeling it and this car felt it so much so the shocks are gone and probably they cheap to replace it but again i think the people the any driver who's gonna buy this car and keep driving it he's not gonna pay attention and he's not gonna replace them until some period of time but not right now so this car has a lot of different cool features what i can tell about it that's number one 
I can see there is a lane departure, so it means the car is going to pull you back if you're going off the line for some reason. And uh, plus it has kind of this Tronic Plus, so it's going to break itself if you're not breaking on time or you're checking your phone. Which is kind of cool, and it is useful in a city, believe me or not. So it doesn't have the satellite radio, what I do like about all the cars. If the car has a satellite radio, I love it automatically. You know why? Because I'm listening to some of my famous channels, what I like since 2013, when I first time hear the serious exam, and I discovered for myself, there is a lot of cool music you can listen to. Number two, the screen, again, I think the design of this car, because it's kind of cheaper on the market than the Mercedes, the Mercedes, in my opinion, number one, who start doing it in G-Wagon and some other cars, they put on the screen in the middle of the dashboard and just show it up like, okay, we have a screen, it's right there. And after some other cars, like the, some other production, like Toyota, Ma Mazda, Honda, they check it out and they like it too, so they start building it. And again, if you're going to check the, the interior of this car, or Mazda 6, or Mazda 3, or any Toyota, in the same generation, same years, it's all going to be kind of about the same. There is a screen in the middle, there is some buttons, there is a climate control, which is, looks, for me, familiar, of the Mazda 6. So I want to say thank you to Honda for driving me here, and it's going to drive me back. I want to say thank you to you to watching that. Put some thumbs up, put some comments below. If you like it, you might gonna have exactly the same Honda as I just review. And you might gonna say, yo, no, you're not right. Uh, this Honda, it's the best car ever. I appreciate your opinion. Please appreciate mine. Thank you so much and see you next time.